You are listening to a cassette recording of a channeling session from The Raw Contact, a series of 106 sessions that were conducted between 1981 and 1984 using a form of tuned trance telepathy. Throughout these sessions, a group of entities identified as Ra shared information regarding the Law of One, spiritual evolution, and a variety of esoteric topics through a series of questions and answers. The full text transcript of these recorded sessions can be read for free at lnlresearch.org, where you can also learn more about this audio and its origins. This recording is intended for personal study and is not available for commercial use. Please contact LNL Research if you wish to use this audio in any other way. Ra 47, April 18th. Ra. Communicate now. Could you first give us an indication of the condition of the instrument? I am Ra. It is uh, as uh, previously stated. The question I was trying to ask at the end of the last session was of what value to evolution or experience in the Creator knowing Himself are the positive and negative social memory complexes that form starting in fourth density. And why was this planned by the local? Consideration that social memory complexes were planned by the logos or sub logos. This is incorrect as the unity of the Creator exists within the smallest portion of any material created by love, much less in a self-aware being. However, the distortion of free will causes the social memory complex to appear as a possibility at a certain stage of evolution of mind. The purpose or consideration which causes entities to form such complexes of these social memory complexes is a very simple extension of the basic 
a distortion towards the creator's knowing of itself. For when a, a group of mind, a body, a spirits become able to form a social memory complex. All experience of each entity is available to the whole of the complex. Thus, the Creator knows more of its creation in each entity partaking of this communion of entities. We uh, chose the values of, are you were, were given the values of better than 50% service to others for fourth density positive and better than 95% service to self for fourth density negative social memory complexes. Do these two values correspond to the same uh, rate, shall I say, of vibration uh, I perceive you have a difficulty in expressing your query. We shall respond in an attempt to clarify your query. The vibratory rates are not to be understood as the same in a positive and negative orientations. They are to be understood as having the power to accept and work with intelligent infinity to a certain degree or intensity due to the fact that the primary a color, shall we say, or energy, a blue, is missing from the negatively oriented system of a power, the green slash blue vibratory energies are not seen in the vibratory schedules or patterns of a negative a fourth and a fifth rates 
of a vibration, the positive upon the other hand, shall we say, has the full spectrum of a true color time space vibratory patterns and thus contains a variant vibratory pattern or schedule. Each is capable of doing fourth density work. This is the criterion for harvest. Did you say that blue was missing from fourth density negative? I am wrong. Let us clarify further. As we have previously stated, all beings have the potential for all possible vibratory rates. Thus, the potential of the green and blue energy center activation is, of course, precisely where it must be in a creation of love. However, the negatively polarized entity will have a chief harvest due to extremely efficient use of red and a yellow orange moving directly to the gateway indigo bringing through this uh, intelligent energy channel the in streamings of intelligent infinity. Then at uh, fourth density graduation into fifth, is there anything like the percentages you gave for third density graduation into fourth for polarization? I am wrong. There are in your modes of thinking responses we can make which we shall make however the important point is that the graduations from density to 
density do occur. The positive slash negative polarity is a thing which will at the sixth level simply become history. Therefore, we speak in an illusory time continuum when we discuss statistics of positive versus negative harvest into fifth. A large percentage of fourth density negative entities continue the negative path from fourth to fifth density experience for without wisdom the compassion and a desire to aid other self is not extremely well informed. Thus, though one loses approximately a two percent moving from a negative to a positive and during the fourth density experience we find approximately eight percent of graduations into a fifth density those of the negative. What, what I was actually asking was if 50% is required for graduation from third to fourth in, posit, in a positive sense, 95% is required for graduation in a negative sense, does this have to more closely approach 100% in both cases for graduation from 4th to 5th? Does an entity have to be 99% polarized for negative and maybe 80% polarized for positive graduation from 4th to 5th? I am right. We perceive the query now. <clears throat> to give this in your terms is misleading. For there are, shall we say, visual aids or training aids available in fourth density which automatically aid the entity in polarization while cutting down extremely upon the quick effect of catalyst. <coughs> Thus, the density above yours 
must take up more space time. The percentage of service to others of positively oriented entities will harmoniously approach 98% in intention. The qualifications for fifth density, however, involve understanding. This then becomes the primary qualification for a graduation from fourth to fifth density. To achieve this graduation, the entity must be able to understand the actions, the movements, and the dance. There is no percentage describable which measures this understanding. It is a measure of efficiency of perception. It may be measured by light. The ability to love, accept, and use a certain intensity of light thus creates the requirement for both positive and negative fourth to fifth harvesting. Can you define what you mean by a crystallized entity? I am Ra. We have used this particular term because it has a fairly precise meaning in your language. When a, a crystalline structure is formed of your physical material. The elements present in each molecule are bonded in a regularized fashion with the elements in each other molecule. Thus, the structure is regular and when fully and perfectly 
crystallized has certain properties. It will not splinter or a break. It is very strong without effort and it is radiant introducing light into a, a beautiful a refraction giving pleasure of the eye to many. In our esoteric literature, numerous bodies are listed. I have here listed the physical body, the etheric, the emotional, the astral, and the mental. Can you tell me if this listing is the proper number and can you tell me the uses and purposes and effects, etc., of each of these or any other bodies that may be uh, in our mind-body-spirit complex? I am wrong. To answer your query fully would be the work of many sessions such as this one for the interrelationships of uh, the various uh, bodies uh, and each body's uh, effects uh, in uh, various uh, situations uh, is uh, an enormous uh, study. However, we shall begin by referring your minds back to the spectrum of true colors and the usage of this understanding in a grasping the various densities of your octave. We have the number seven repeated from the macrocosm to the microcosm in a structure and experience. Therefore, it would only be expected that there would be seven basic bodies which we would perhaps be most lucid by stating as a red ray a body, etc. However, we are aware that you wish to correspond these bodies mentioned with the color rays. This will be confusing for 
various teachers have offered their teach learning understanding in various terms. Thus, one may name a subtle body one thing and another find a different name. The red ray body is your chemical body. However, it is not the body which you have as a clothing in the physical. It is the unconstructed material of the body, the elemental body without form. This basic unformed material body is important to understand for there are healings which may be carried out by the simple understanding of the elements present in the physical vehicle. <clears throat> the orange ray body is the physical body complex. This body complex is still not the body you inhabit, but rather the body formed without self-awareness. The body in the womb before the spirit mind complex enters. This body may live without the inhabitation of the mind and spirit complexes. However, it seldom does so. <clears throat> the yellow ray body is your physical vehicle which you know of at this time and in which you experience catalyst. This body has the mind, body, spirit characteristics and is equal to the physical illusion as you have called it. The green ray body is that body which may be seen in a seance when what you call ectoplasm is furnished. This 
is a lighter a body packed more densely with life. You may call this the astral body following some other teachings. Others have called this same body the etheric body. However, this is not correct in the sense that the etheric body is that body of gateway wherein intelligent energy is able to mold the mind, body, spirit complex. The light body or a blue ray body may be called the devakanic body. There are many other names for this body, especially in your so-called Indian sutras or writings for there are those among these peoples which have explored these regions and understand the various types of devakanic bodies. There are many many types of bodies in each density much like your own. The indigo ray body which we choose to call the etheric body is, as we have said, the gateway body. In this body, form is substance, and you may only see this body as that of light as it may mold itself as it desires. The violet ray body may perhaps be understood as what you might call the a Buddha a body or that body which is complete. <clears throat> Each of these bodies has an effect upon your mind body spirit complex in your life beingness, the interrelationships, as we have said, are many and complex. Perhaps one suggestion that may 
be indicated is this. The indigo ray body may be used by the healer once the healer becomes able to place its consciousness in this etheric state, the violet ray or a buddhic a body is of equal efficacy to the healer for within it lies a sense of wholeness which is extremely close to unity with all that there is. These bodies are part of each entity and the proper use of them and understanding of them is though far advanced from the standpoint of third density harvest nevertheless useful to the adept. <clears throat> Which bodies do we have immediately after physical death from this yellow ray body that I now inhabit? I am Ra. You have all bodies in potentiation then uh, the yellow ray body and potentiation is used to create this the chemical arrangement that I have as a physical body now is this correct I am this is incorrect only in that in your present incarnation the yellow ray body is not in potentiation but in activation it being that body which is manifest then after death it, uh, from this incarnation you still have the yellow ray body in potentiation but then is perhaps, say, in the general case of, of our planetary population after death, would they then normally have the green ray body in manifested? I am Ra. And not immediately. The first body which activates itself upon death is the form maker or the indigo 
ray, a body. This body remains. You have called it the Ka until Etheria has been penetrated and understanding has been gained by the mind body spirit totality once this is achieved if the proper body to be activated is a green ray, then this will occur. Let me make a statement and see if I am correct. For activation of one of the bodies, and it would all be possible then to activate any of the bodies would this uh, go all the way from red through violet? I am Ra. Given the proper stimulus, this is correct. What stimulus would create what we call an earthbound spirit or a lingering ghost. I am Ra. The stimulus for this is the faculty of the will. If the will of yellow ray, mind, body, spirit, is that which is stronger than the progressive impetus of the physical death, towards realization of that which comes. That is, if the will is concentrated enough upon the previous experience, the Entities shell of yellow ray, though no longer activated, cannot either be completely deactivated, and until the will is released the mind body spirit complex is caught this often occurs as we see you are aware in the case of sudden death as well as in the case of extreme concern for a thing or an other self. Then does the will of the orange ray activation after death occur very frequently with this planet? I am Ra. Quite 
infrequently due to the fact that this particular manifestation is without will. Occasionally, an other self will so demand the form of the one passing through the physical death that some semblance of the being will remain. This is orange ray. This is rare. For normally, if one entity desires another enough to call it, the entity will have the corresponding desire to be called. Thus, the manifestation would be the shell of yellow ray. What uh, does the large percentage of the Earth's population as they pass from the physical activate? I am wrong. This shall be the last full query of this working. The normal procedure given an harmonious passage from yellow ray a bodily manifestation is for the mind and a spirit complex to rest in the etheric or indigo body until such time as the entity begins its preparation for experience in an incarnated place which has a manifestation formed by the etheric energy molding it into activation and manifestation. This indigo body being intelligent energy is able to offer the newly dead, as you would term it, soul, a perspective and a place from which to view the experience most recently manifested. Is there a short query we may answer?
at this time. Well, I'll only ask if there's anything we could do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the conduct. I am Ra. The appurtenances are conscientiously measured by I and spirit. You are conscientious. All is well. Observe this instrument to ensure continued building of the vital energies. It will have to work upon its own physical energies for this a weakness was brought about by a free will of the self. I am Ra. We leave you now in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator Adene. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Okay.